my free Excel list of 190 firms to give you that head start this summer in your applications. The big boys, the big boys in London. These are the names of firms that one would often hear about in the FT, in Bloomberg or any other financial news site. Whenever the topic of quantitative firms, quantitative funds are mentioned, they are the DE Shaw Group, G Research, Two Sigma, Jane Street, AQR Capital, Millennium Management, Bremen Howard, and Systematica. Now, some of you might be saying there are many other names in this that should be on this list. However, I do want to keep this video short, keep the PowerPoint slides short, and also focus on names that offer internships and graduate roles. Two firms stand out to me, London, that I think students and graduates should pay attention to, not because of their AUM or their lack of AUM or any particular strategy, but for their other qualities. One is the DE Shaw Group, and the other is actually not on this list, but I have kept as a surprise because I think they have quite a unique, quite a uh, special hiring process. First off, the DE Shaw Group. Now, you can't go wrong with the DE Shaw Group. They are one of the best of the best. Being one of the pioneers of the quant industry, founded by David E. Shaw, an individual who was given the title King Quant, I think that should tell you all about the pedigree and business of the firm. For some quants, they see it as an amazing place to start and even end your quant career. Now, what is surprising is that Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, was one of their youngest ever senior vice presidents around the time that he had his idea for Amazon. Now, there's nothing else much to say other than for those applying to the London office, just know that, to the best of my knowledge, the London office is has a much smaller headcount as compared to the New York office, with approximately 70 to 80 compared to New York's approximately 500 headcount. So just do keep that in mind when you are applying, which means there will be a lot lesser roles available. However, to my knowledge, the firm is very willing to sponsor uh, work visas if you are capable. And the surprise firm is Marshall Ways. Now, Marshall Ways was founded by Paul Marshall and Ian Ways, of which Paul Marshall has actually written a book called Ten and a Half Lessons from Experience, Perspectives on Fund Management, which might be a good read if you are planning to apply to them, which I think you should, as you will see in the coming slides. They have been operating for the past 26 years, and given that the average hedge fund lifespan has about three to five years, I think this indicates that there's much lesser chance of going bust. It speaks about the maturity of the fund systems and practices, so it would be a great place to start your quant career. They are most famous for something called the Trade Optimized Portfolio System or TOPS system. It is a form of proprietary alpha capture system where they aggregate the, the signals, these recommendations from top sell site organizations in a way doing a form of crowdsourcing of investment ideas and they combine this crowdsource ideas with their own proprietary signals to create a combined signal which is then used to create uh, various portfolios. Now having spoken to someone who has applied to Marshall Ways before, I think what really stands out is the incredibly well organized graduate recruitment program. For quants, this would be the Quantitative Associate Program, seen here as a screen grab from the brochure that they send out to all the applicants of this program. And it really was the attention to detail and the clarity of the application cycle that really stood out to this contact of mine as well as, 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 well as me. There was an information session that was held prior to the start of these assessments for all candidates to ask questions, uh, to get tips, to also meet the team. Information on the entire application process was incredibly clear and provided early on in the process. And 
the assessment questions that were given, so during the various uh, technical tests, were incredibly unique and not just recycled. Uh, I'm pretty sure those of you who have gone through a couple of quant interviews, you know that there are a lot of these various guides that exist that have many recycled questions that you might find across various books. From what I understand, the questions that Marshall Ways gave during their assessments were very unique and they're definitely not recycled, which I think tells you about the attention and level of detail they give to the hiring process. Shown here is another screen grab of the brochure they provide to candidates and as you can see, the timeline of the application process is, in, is elaborated on the details, what to expect from each assessment stage is well elaborated on. And as someone, and as I'm sure some of my other viewers might know, having applied to various firms, we all know the frustration of having a lot of uncertainty regarding a firm's application process, the exact number of rounds, what is to be expected of each round. And to see a firm that pays such attention to detail, I think it speaks volumes about how they view the candidates, how they view the importance of these candidates to their uh, to their future pipeline of workers. And I think this therefore makes Marshall Ways and similar firms who pay such attention to detail a great place to start working because ultimately it shows the attention that's given to their new hires. And I think that's something that you know, some firms or maybe a lot of firms are not paying attention to. And as some of you might notice, there's a statement that says, want more information on the process, check out this video. I have checked out the video, apparently it seems to still be active. So please follow the video link on the right here to watch the video. And it's basically just one of the researchers elaborating on the application process, what to expect. And I think, once again, the fact that they even bothered to make a video of someone explaining this process to you, I think, once again, shows that attention to detail. So, thumbs up to Marshall Ways for this. D. Shaw and Marshall Ways, two great firms that are based in London. Now, to be clear, I do not work for any of these two firms, nor have I actually applied to these two firms before. This information that I got were obtained from peers, from networks who have applied to the firms. And just to be clear, there are many other great firms that are based in London. I'm pretty sure some of you might be wondering why I've not spoken about them. So please do your own research. There are many great firms based in London and also outside of London. So don't just think about focusing on applying to the London offices. And to that end, I have provided a free Excel spreadsheet in the link shown here that linked to a Google Drive containing 190 firms, funds, asset management companies, trading firms that I have compiled during my own applications last year that I hope will help you give you a head start in your applications this summer. And if you want to hear more about my recent experience interviewing in London to better understand the process, please click the video on the left. And to those of you who are still early on in your applications, if you want some unconventional ideas for your CV, for your resume, for you to stand out in the application process, please click the video on the right. And once again, all the best in your applications.